What is going on guys? This is Kojo Forest aka GPP Emperor aka the Emperor of Blues. I'm back on your screens again with another important trading video. In fact, something that every trader who wishes to be a consistently winning one needs to know. Basically talking about candlestick formations, right? So I tell my mentees and anybody that has studied under me, especially with people also that get opportunity to watch my Instagram live and all that, that the language of the market is candlesticks right so what do i really mean by that any kind of society has a language of communication right where you know um we have in ghana so many tribes we have the Ewe tribe the akan tribe the fancy tribe the northern and then even globally we have the people who speak english we have people who speak chinese people who speak blah 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 and in the trading world or in the in the currency market as well right or even the global financial market we have languages what you must know as a trader is that all these representations that are shown on the screens that we read our charts from they are literally telling the prices right they're telling exactly where a particular price is but you'll be surprised to know that there are several form of data in which these prices could be interpreted in right so some of them are the bar chart we have the candles we have the hollow candles line chart area baseline hiking ashi and so on and so forth right so we've had people over the years who have developed several of these you know um chart reading techniques that people will just look at and be like okay this is going to go up or okay this is going to come down right but over the years a lot of tend to properly adjust and then vibe with the candlesticks which is what we now tend to use for regular chart analysis right but you'd be surprised to know that we have people who are so good with using the line chart the hiking machine and so so many of the other ones that i've mentioned right but since the world has gradually tend to using candlestick and it has been more like the order of the day it is only enough for a trader to commit insane amount of time chat hours in learning and committing to learn the language of candlestick and then by language of candlestick i literally mean the pattern that this candlestick print out and then inform us as traders so what we're going to tend to learn today is that we're going to learn about my key candlestick confirmation pattern there are quite a number of them out there but what we're going to learn today is the key ones that i use personally in my in my confirmation trades right so basically i have about about 15 to 20 of them right but i'm going to show you two or three at a time over the next few weeks right so let's begin with today's one right so what we are going to learn about today is the best ones that i use right so in fact if you're going to start this journey it's only right for me to begin with you guys with the best ones that i trust the most anytime i see them i know that the market is about to you know do something huge or make a, a particular move and then that is what i want to show you guys today so today we're going to learn about what we call the tweezers right and we're going to also learn about, about the bullish engulfing and a bearish engulfing candles right so in all of my youtube videos i have never taught candlestick reversal patterns before and i've had a lot of people request could you when are you going to do a candlestick video so it's only right that today we have the best to start with which is my tweezers and then the bullish engulfing and then the bearish engulfing candles so let's go right into the chat and then i'll explain what i mean by all this bullish engulfing tweezers and all that right yeah guys so as a trader what you must understand is that once you start trading like i like already said then you must understand that candlesticks is more like the language of the market is what directs us to know when to buy or when to sell in this market right now you must understand that if you're looking at the chart this way it's moving in a particular fashion right where we have like the market go up like this it comes down go up comes down go up, and so on and so forth right but at any turning point at all then there are a particular behavior or characteristics that this market does for us to know if it's going to continue going up or it's going to continue going down or it's going to reverse that is what we call the candlestick reversal patterns so they are basically patterns that okay at the edge of any turning point in the market so like at the right of the top here we call them the bearish reversal patterns because it's upon these patterns that the market tend to now start going bearish you get it so if i talk about bearish reversal patterns i'm talking about candlestick the last candlestick formations before the market turned from bullish to bearish and then we have the bullish reversal patterns right so those are also the last reversal patterns or the last candlestick formations that took place before the market turned from bearish to bullish so if you do not really understand that then you have to probably play this video about two or three times to get that clearly so we, we're going to learn about like i said what we call the bullish reversal patterns and then the bearish reversal patterns starting with my two most favorite ones which is the tweezers and then the bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing but we're going to start off with the tweezers right so with tweezers too you must know that we have what we call the tweezer top and then the tweezer bottom right so it's just felt like this 
tweezers, T-W-E-E-Z-E-R. Then we have tweezer top. Then we have the tweezer bottom. Right, so we're going to start off with understanding how the tweezer looks like, right? So if I come to Aussie dollar Japanese yen, then I marked out a few examples of what a tweezer would look like, right? So you see here, with this particular candle here, where we have like the bullish, I mean, where we have the bearish candle, then right off next to it, then we have the bullish candle, almost equal as the, the, the initial candle that was formed, then we call that a tweezer. But the moment it, it occurred at the very bottom of the trading range before a change in direction, like we had a bearish market here, then there was a tweezer before this bullish move, then we call this a tweezer bottom, right? Then we call that a tweezer bottom. But then again, if you have that same thing happening at the top of the range, like if you're looking at this market right now, we had the market literally move from the bottom to the top, and then there was a big bullish candle, then subsequently a big bearish candle, almost the same size, as a bullish candle then we call that the tweezer top so it was like the last reaction before the market began to trade downwards right now you must understand that tweezers has become one of my very very favorite reversal patterns and anytime i mark up my chart support resistance and then trend line and then psychological levels tweezers are one of the main things that i tend to look out for and be like okay because i have seen this and that then it's giving me that edge that the market is going to go up that edge that the market is going to come down so you can literally take time to back test the tweezers i've marked some out here look at this the moment the market came up here it reversed the same thing with what we can see clearly happening here as the market dropped you can see what a bearish candle last then next is what a bullish candle almost of the same size then what happens next is this market literally trading upward so that's how powerful tweezers can be right that's how powerful tweezers can be so yeah i've taught you one of my main reversal patterns which is the tweezers the same thing is what we can observe here we had this slight bearish push on the downside then what happens we see these tweezers literally appearing on the chart then from there we had this massive blast making how many pips thousands of pips right we can clearly see that if you put um if you put um the measuring tool from this range all the way up here then right off the tweezer this market literally moved over 890 pips perhaps almost 900 900 pips just off the tweezer confirmation so that's how powerful tweezers can be right then let's also have a brief look into the bullish and bearish engulfing right so if we talk about the word engulfing engulfing literally mean like you know covering up something so as i'm sitting here right now i can literally see that i have engulfed this um um iphone 13 pro max that i literally, I literally bought um yesterday or i've literally engulfed this microphone that i have here or i've engulfed any object that that's around me so it's the same thing that happens when when um, um we're trading the market as well there are certain candles that appear to engulf other ones that previously appeared before them right and then a, a, a critical example of a, a, an engulfing candle is when you have let's say a, a bullish candle appear right when we're talking about um a bearish engulfing candle it's like the last bearish candle that appeared before it got engulfed or covered up by a bigger bullish i mean bearish candle a la the last bullish candle that appeared the last small bullish candle that appeared before ended up being covered up by a bigger bearish candle then we call it that bearish engulfing pattern so these two candles here right the bearish one the bullish one push up a little bit then subsequently we have this big bearish one push down like that then we call it the bearish engulfing candle so you can clearly see that right off from that bearish engulfing this market traded all the way down then formed what a tweezer and then ended up running all the way up so that's how powerful reading and understanding candlestick which is like the language of the market can help you as a trader right we can see certain examples from from here as well when we're talking about bullish and bearish engulfings right let's look at euro gbp and see if we can find certain beautiful scenarios so yeah we can clearly see most of the um tweezer tweezer patterns that i already showed you here or carrying here which is where we had the market you know spike up a little bit form the same candle but in different in different shapes and then totally reverse and then blew up onto the downside then we have this massive engulfing candle appearing here which is like that small bullish candle pushing the market then subsequently having this big bearish candle coming down then right off from there 
we have the market continuing all the way down so you realize that most of these reversal patterns like i initially said from the beginning of the video happen at the very edge of the turning point of the market so you want to take time as a trader to literally back test all these turning points in the market i am so comfortable with using them on a higher time frame because you will tend to understand and then learn as as time goes on that that when it comes to candlestick um, uh, reading in the market and understanding the candlestick language in the market the higher the time frame the more the more stronger that pattern is or the more confident that pattern it is to play out than you know looking at it in the lower time frame but i'm going to i'm going to teach you more on that as time goes on right so like i said you literally want to give yourself that assignment of back testing at all turning points and then trying to literally spot on the tweezers that i've taught you both on the tweezer top and the tweezer bottom if you're looking at both scenarios and at the same time the bullish engulfing candle and the bearish engulfing candle and trust me they can make much of a difference in your trading life if you just know these two patterns like I said, over the subsequent period, I'm going to teach you the rest of the patterns that I use. We just began with two today, right? So if you really love this content and then you, you want me to be gingered up and then come up with more, right? Because we're literally in the month of April and then we have, you know, some few uh, more months before the year totally ends. Then you want to subscribe to this channel and then follow me on all social media at KOGOFREX. Let's take this channel to the, to the moon, right? We're literally hitting 100K subscribers and then we're starting from now, right? Also, leave a comment, any questions, any doubts you want to ask me. Click in the link in the description to also join the Kojo Forest Telegram community family of over 30, close to 30,000 traders that are shared. Trade signals are for everybody for free. Connect with me also on Twitter. Quite recently, I've started organizing Twitter spaces, so you want to participate in that as well, right? So, yeah, I hope you guys really learned a lot from this content. More to come. In fact, I promise you, more to come. We are likely to even have one trading content every day from now to the so the month ends so if you're excited about that then don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my content right without wasting much time i'll see you guys peace